In this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the videos that I took on a ride along last night. Sometimes I put these up on my Instagram and other times I put them up on my Twitter as fleets or as reels or stories or something like that. So um, this happened last night and after the end of the video, I'll let you know and we'll go over the totals. But I started out on DoorDash and ended up on Uber Eats and because they're vertical videos, I just put some random car wash videos for my dash cam uh, in the background. So you just wouldn't have a straight up bar there. All right, check them out. Okay, we rolling tonight. Uh, Going to do deliveries on Uber Eats. Got a $2 per trip bonus. Oh, someone's pulling up in my uh, driveway here. And uh, we're going we're gonna to go get that money. All right, so in addition to the $2 promo per trip from uh, Uber Eats, we got $3 peak pay on DoorDash. So I'm dual lapping tonight. Here we go. All right, so I've gotten two offers so far. One was from Uber Eats. It was $15, but it was 14 miles of driving. Not going to take it. It would have taken me way far away from any decent restaurants and I just got one for Walmart on DoorDash and I don't do Walmart. So again, another offer, DoorDash, Walmart, $11 for 55 items. No, they don't bag the groceries here. I'm not getting 55 items if Walmart is not going to bag the groceries. Not gonna happen. And also, why is it that when I choose why I'm declining is I don't want to go to this store, do they continue to offer me things from that store? DoorDash, you have that information. You offer me something from Walmart. I say I don't want to go to that store, so stop offering me things from Walmart. Oh, got another offer. Let's see what this is. All right, got an offer that I can take. It's 11.50, it's seven miles. It's not quite what I want, but shouldn't be too too rough uh, of a delivery and it'll be bringing me back, when I come back into town, it'll be bringing me past uh, decent restaurants. All right, first order in the books. Got another one from Uber Eats which is uh, reasonable. I got to head back that way. Normally I wouldn't take it for this uh, mileage, but I'm not going to get a DoorDash order out here. And it's good to have one going into town. Who knows? I may get something stacked. Uh, <laughs> I made $18 on this. It was originally 11. So not going to complain about that. And the dude came to the door shirtless. Whoop. All right. That was a super easy delivery. Dropped off at the front desk of a hotel. Those are the kind that I really like. And uh, we're waiting for the next one. All right, got another order. Uh, less than a mile. I love those. Turn oh, left onto Broadway, hours. then turn left onto Washington Street. So, uh, can't complain about that. You hear my directions going Take the next That's left onto Washington Street. You don't know where I am, you dumb thing. All right, anyway, on to the next. All right, so I get there, and the order hadn't even been put in the system. And she's like, it's going to be 10 minutes. And you know, when you get there and the order hasn't even been sent to the back and they say it's going to be 10 minutes, you know it's going to be more like 20. So I dumped it and we're waiting on another order. All right, so normally I wouldn't have taken this order that I got from KFC because, again, it's going out in the middle of nowhere. I guess that just seems to be the modus operandi tonight. Um, but I'm working on a quest and I want to make the quest tonight, so I'm going to take it. Yeah, so this one, wow, really way out here, but at least the house was well lit, and uh, the guy met me at the door, so I didn't have to leave it out in the cold. They kept track of my progress, so that's always good. Back into town. All right, so quick update. I did get an order on the way uh, back into town. It was for $22. Not going to argue about that if I'm going to cover all those miles. 
and dropped that off. And as soon as I dropped it off, got an order for Smash Burger. So we're rolling now. All right, so I finished up my last order, and I think if I got the numbers in my head right, we're close to 30 bucks an hour here. We'll take a look at the numbers and uh, get back to you. Okay, so let's take a look at the totals for the night. I drove for 2 hours and 48 minutes, or about 2.8 hours, over 57 miles. I earned $18 on one trip from DoorDash. That was a $3 base pay, $3 peak pay, and a $12 tip. And on five trips on Uber Eats, I earned $81.90. $25.47 in base pay, $35.63 in tips, and a $10 quest bonus. So my total earnings were $99.90, which comes to $35 an hour and about $1.75 per mile. I got a tax deduction of $31.77 for the mileage. And the fuel usage, uh, it's about $2.39 a gallon for, there'd be times 1.425 because I make 40 miles per gallon in my car. So it comes out to about $3.42. Not a bad night for three hours. Now, you have to understand that in my market, which is different than where it is denser, I'm going to drive a lot more miles than most people will. Would I want to keep these miles around 40 miles or maybe even 35 miles? Absolutely. But it's just not possible because I don't have the population density here. In a denser market, I could have had fewer miles. But nevertheless, I think $35 an hour is pretty good for about three hours worth of work on a Friday night. My name is John from Ride Upstate. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and ring that bell. If you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And as always, I'll talk to you next time.